guys welcome to my youtube channel um hey <laughs> i'm sorry guys but i'm having a moment i've waited a whole year to actually say those words so thank you means trust me let me let me start with that hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is itati lizipa i am 27 years old and i am from falcom um i am a certified makeup artist i'm a certified cabin crew member and i would also like to think that i am an influencer um today's the 22nd of august and it only made sense that i start my channel on the 22nd everyone who knows me that knows that 22 is my favorite number 22 is the day i was born 22 is a lot of things which i'll get into in other videos but um 22 is a very significant number in my life so it made sense for me to start my channel today and it's also my best friend's birthday today so happy birthday b so y'all guys um First of all, I would like to thank everyone that has been subscribed to my channel since December 2018. I am very sorry guys and I, I, I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry for, for keeping you guys waiting. But I'd also like to say thank you for your patience. Um, thank you to everybody who recently subscribed and I promise you guys going forward, I will not be wasting your time anymore. Um, I'm going to be actually putting out videos a lot of videos going forward um i don't have a specific day that i'm going to post um because i don't want to say i'm going to post on tuesdays only or i'm going to post on thursdays only because i i feel like sometimes sometimes i'll have a lot of videos and i would like to put them out as they happen and sometimes i won't have videos so i just want you guys to be prepared going forward um yeah i want to like maybe put three videos out in a week and maybe sometimes not to put videos out it makes sense to me i'm sorry though um i don't like i don't like pressure i feel like if i say i'm gonna do things on on thursday i'm gonna put out a video on thursday it's gonna end up like in day now i don't post that thursday I, and i don't like that i don't work well with pressure so i'm gonna put it out whenever i put it out but you guys let me say maybe you have like five videos or six videos a month this is a get to know me video so i'm going to answer a few questions that i've been asked okay guys i'm gonna dive straight into it are you named after anyone um no i'm not named after any not that i know of um i remember asking my brother a couple of months ago um the people who i have on whatsapp who are going to watch this video are going to remember this conversation because i screenshotted it and put it up as my dpic mm -mm, not dpic my whatsapp story gosh yeah i remember asking my brother like this was after my mom had passed on i was like to him why am i named c tight you know because i didn't like I, I don't know why i didn't ask my mom this when she was still here so my brother being the the brother that so the brother that he is sorry he said that to me all he remembers was that he was playing soccer outside and then he saw my mom coming in uh like my mom no my mom getting off a taxi with a blanket like with a baby covered in a blanket and my mom walked into the house so he was outside playing soccer and all he saw was my mom walking in with the baby and the next thing my grandmother came out like ululating happy and then my grandmother was like after looking at the, the uh, after looking at me the baby uh she was like kissy tidy someone on and yeah that's all i know like my grandmother named me c tight and yeah my name was actually supposed to be Mosezan. That's I remember asking my mom that. Like, did she ever think of calling me something else? Because I don't have an actual English name. So she was like, no, my name was supposed to be Mosezan. You know, so my grandmother ended up calling me Sitati after like literally seeing me. Okay, guys, let me drink water. Yo. We're actually at question number three. Do you miss flying? Any plans of going back? Yes, I do miss flying. Um, with my entire heart, with everything in me, with my oil, like sure i don't understand why aircrafts are taking off and i'm not in any of them like i don't get it and i feel like for the longest time i beat myself up about it um yeah any plans of going back yes i do want to go back with everything in me guys how like once you've tasted flight guys there's a quote about once you've tasted flight you will all forever hey live your life looking up, what, something like that but like once you've tasted flight guys like it's impossible for you to forget forget it so i miss flying with everything in me and um 
do i have plans of going back yes i do have plans of going back i'm applying and i'm praying every night that my plans go hand in hand with god's god's plans but i'm resting on these words that when the time is right i the lord will make it happen so like he did it once and i'm i'm 100 percent sure that he will do it again you know um i know people are going to be wondering how how does she miss flying when she's the one who left uh aviation like when i willingly left aviation and which brings me to the, which brings you guys to the question yeah okay why did i leave aviation um why did i leave aviation yo that is like a 30 like it's about 30 minute video why i left aviation but i'll just quickly summarize it i was working abroad um i was coming home for leave only and like leave was like 15 days and with those 15 days i had to spend with family i had to spend with with my friends i had to spend with my boyfriend so 15 days is not a lot guys like it's not a lot hang out 15 days you guys so i felt like when i look back okay no i came back december 2016 i didn't know my mom was sick i actually came back and i saw it at the airport when i arrived i was like mm -mm. Like, Mutuna looks different, you understand? So, it came as a shock to me that my mom was that sick, you understand? So, um, I spent Christmas home, I left for Doha in January, and I was just like, mm -mm, this is not it. Like, I wasn't happy at work, guys, anymore. Like, I was always stressing, and happy I felt like, happy I felt like, um, I hadn't spent much time with my mom in a long time, you know? Like, Kintaninyaoge. How did I miss it? Do you understand? How did I miss all of this? Like, you know, you think it's, it's, it's gradual. Like, it happens slowly. So you ask yourself, okay, the number of times I was going home, you know, and like, you end up beating yourself up for not, not, not seeing it, you know? So, yeah, I was in that bad space. And I was just like, mm -mm. I would rather my mom pass away knowing that I, I took her, care of her physically. Then have her passing away, kill a whole six and a Like, like no, uh, uh like I couldn't, you know. Jo, guys, can we get up? Can we get up into the moon? So I'm gonna, I'm not about to cry. So yeah, Whew. a minute. Some people might think, okay, like that was extreme, but like, yo, guys, me and my mom, my mom, my mom has been my entire life. So like. I wouldn't have been able to continue working and being happy and making other people happy when I wasn't okay you understand so I just felt like I need to spend time with her so yeah I came back home and yeah after I came back home I decided on going the makeup route because I remember I was doing my friend's makeup and she was like she was so happy after I did her face and that time I didn't even know anything about makeup she was so happy and I started taking a liking into it because other people would compliment you would be like why was that makeup you know when they see the makeup that you've done on other people and I'm like okay cool let me maybe take this thing seriously so and I took it seriously and it took me seriously as well so yeah we're here now okay sure let's see what the next question is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you oh thank god mari not thank god guys so guys i was i was in new york with tepi solatara my best friend um people know him as b i was in new york with b and we actually he was actually working in new york and i was i was i was there going on a flight then so we decided to hook up and go out for dinner so i remember it was me him and a colleague of mine i forgot her name so we went to an african restaurant and yeah like guys the mood like you know how not like you know but i was before b comes for me i wasn't okay because i was very hungry like when i'm very hungry i'm very grumpy so i was very hungry so i feel like that's what contributed to it being more embarrassing because I get make a gramp so the mood on the table in a nice clever one because I was on my phone like pip it a phone pip it a phone because I just wanna eat you know so shabu we chilling on the table waiting for the food to come next thing I smell fire 
So like a small fight and I look around, people on the tables have more gila so I'm just like, okay, maybe it's just a thing you're okay, nah, so I'm gonna smell it. I'm not bothered. So I'm on my phone, guys, I'm on my phone. <laughs> Next thing the manager comes to me and then he's like to me, don't panic, but your hair's on fire. Guys Yo <laughs> Guys, so like I was wearing a, a curly like big wig. Guys, first in first instinct yeah, that Trevor would be to like mm -mm, take it off. My guys, my first instinct was like to wait it out because niggas were first of all, so my hair is not up to like to stand it. You know, so how to change? Yo guys, so yeah, my hair was burning actually at the back. So the guy managed to put it out. But I do sweat for no more. Hey, you know, and even when I looked around, people were actually were actually staring at me because the fire was coming from my head. Yeah, guys, that was the most embarrassing thing that, that's ever happened to me. Like, like they couldn't even laugh at that moment because I wasn't laughing. I was really touched. Okay? Like, I'm sitting with people. They're not even alerting me that my wig is on fire. Do you understand? But like, it didn't burn. Like what happened was there was a candle decoration behind me. So my hair was big. So like you know when you're moving around. So can't you move around Kai you know? Yeah. So that's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. What are the challenges you face being an MUA in a small town? Yo, what are the challenges I face? First of all, price, guys, pricing. Pricing cannot be the way it is in Giants because first of all, Welcome is a small town, you know. Um, so first of all, the pricing for me is is a problem. Hoba, I want to use certain products. Uh, I, I don't only want to use drug sto drug store products. I want to use high end products as well. But I can't use high end products when I'm charging the the prices I'm charging in Valcom, you know. Um, I want to also grow as a makeup artist, but I can't grow when I'm charging the prices that I'm charging. Do you understand? If it was a side hustle, I'd understand I would be able to buy the product with my other money that I'm making at my other job. But how not to you? Like literally this is my bread and butter. So I have to make sure Jorge, like one and a children I have I have enough money to buy products. I have enough money to live, you know? So pricing for me is my biggest problem. Um recently I've been taking clients in Johannesburg and I've with, with in regards to charging in Johannesburg, I'm not charging the prices I'm charging in Valcom. I'm charging the way you know, guys. I'm sorry, I just noticed totally like my hand in the dark marks. I was actually dying my wig, so yeah, that's what happened. So yeah, I'm charging certain prices in Johannesburg that I'm not charging in Valcom, and people in Joburg don't mind because Joburg is a, is a big it's a big city. Also, but for Valcom, guys, yo, like. I don't even know how to put it. I don't even want it to sound bad because are like I would be like that if someone else was saying keep the full price before I even get the makeup done, you know. But in Joburg when you like say to someone, okay no, it's a bridal booking, you it's a it's a wedding. Bride one point two, bride on one point two right there and then. Also got like the day of the, the makeup, also is a makeup done. But in Valcom people about like it's a problem to even get the deposit sent to you. Do you understand? And it like how we go on the day on the on the day of the event or the of the wedding, it's very busy. You know, so I feel like it makes it easier to send the money before the event than to actually send half now, send half then. I'm actually going to change that going forward with my business. And what else? Uh, are problems my, my problems I don't have many much about many problems because uh, how, as much as Welcome is a small town there aren't a lot of makeup artists in Welcome so you know no we're not we're not a lot actually actually we could need more like we need more people you know we need more makeup artists in the future because sometimes not from Buka and I've already booked like and you keep booking a flock like because I'm like when I started out I was taking a lot of bookings. No, I don't because my back was suffering a lot. So I I can get like a certain amount that I can actually handle instead of taking a lot of people, you know. Because happen when you're doing a rush to job, the people might like it, but when uh, yourself you're just like this is not my best work and I don't like working like that. So I'd rather have like three clients on Saturday. 
kids were like walking away from it i'm just like wow i killed it you know then have like 10 bookings kids but when i was happy i'm not happy without a put out you know so yeah uh like i didn't add like i didn't they're not a lot but i for me in terms of pushing myself um i would actually love to be based in johannesburg and be a makeup artist in johannesburg i feel like it's more challenging in Johannesburg, the people people go to like events in Ada. It's not only makeup, yeah, bridal, makeup, yeah, the party. You know, there's a lot to actually like. There's a lot in in Joburg, whereas in Falcon, people only do their makeup when it's a birthday party, it's a baby shower, um, it's it's a wedding. You know, like by by a makeup artist when oh, in matric farewell, corner by a makeup artist. Okay, guys, yo this video is going to be so long and I, well, I literally wanted it to be like five minutes um are you, uh, are you the only child i answered that um congratulations on we luncheon it looked amazing thank you so much um, um i'm actually looking forward to the one year that's happening this saturday in welcome because well guys it was so amazing it like it actually okay i i knew it was going to be amazing but i didn't know it was going to be that amazing like i walked out of it having gained sisters even like it was so nice man you know like i will when i when i came up with the idea i actually didn't want to have a women's day event way around the motivational speaker and then we're done we're eating we're going home no i wanted something where we're all going to share something we're all going to actually speak and that's what i actually got like literally everybody got up and spoke you know so I feel like it's a marathon ban on that day, man. Home night, we get to we get to socialize, we get to engage, click our feather instead of people grouping themselves up or you know. So yeah. Those are the questions that I was asked. Hey yo guys, but question that's got to run. The last question is Are you single or are you taken? Pat remember do guys, the questions you guys asked. <laughs> Ask <laughs> <laughs> wow okay nobody actually asked me that <laughs> i made that up guys why are some boots okay i may take it or i may in a relationship why are why aren't you guys asking me that um am i taken or am i in a relationship let me think about it hope i guess the guys at table maybe last night me and martin broke up and i'm, I'm actually in the market but you guys are not asking guys you must you must ask guys you must ask okay so nah unfortunately i'm taken thank you guys so much for watching i'm actually looking forward to have to making new memories with you guys um please don't forget to comment and tell me what you guys would like to see on my channel going forward just bear in mind that this is a beauty fashion and lifestyle channel um yeah yay yay yay, yay. I, I almost wait I, I forgot the famous last words don't forget to like comment and subscribe <laughs> i've waited so long to say these words guys so yeah please tell everyone go out to work tell your workmates go to school tell your school friends just tell everyone to subscribe because i have a lot of content lined up for you guys i love you guys and thank you so much for watching